guys, so I'm going to be taking the Morphe slash Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Hunts and I'm going to be applying this on my crease and dragging it a little bit out. And now I'm just going to be blending that all out. Taking a more tapered brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Jax and applying this on top of that color just to give it more depth. Taking the shade of fire from the Morphe 3502, I'm going to be using this to blend all that out. Taking some eye makeup remover with the q-tip, I'm going to be cutting my crease with this just to remove that shadow so then when we apply the concealer it doesn't, um, what do you call it, so it doesn't transfer. Cut my crease, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Strength Concealer and I'm going to be taking this and applying it just on top of that where we cut the crease with the eye makeup remover just so then when we apply the other shadows it has some more to stick onto. With any angled brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Fire and creating a wing liner with this shadow. And it doesn't matter if it's not so straight because we're going to be blending it upwards anyways. Now I'm going to go ahead and just blend all this upwards and I'm going to try to avoid like where the crease is at just so then we could actually see that it's kind of more of an ombre effect because if you blend it all the way up you're not going to be able to see where you cut your crease. Now I'm taking the shade Jax closer to the lash line just to give it the same effect that we did on the top of the crease. And now I'm taking the shade Hunt, I'm going to be using this to blend in between that color and just to smooth everything out. Different brush, I'm going to be taking some of the Airspun loose powder and just apply this to that crease area where we didn't apply no shadow just so it doesn't move around. I went ahead and applied some lashes, these are the lashes in the style 251 by Ardell and now I'm just applying some of the shade of fire to the lower lash line just to connect everything out. To finish everything off with the eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying some of the shade pyramid by the prism palette and applying this to my inner corner.
This is optional, but I went ahead and applied some JCAT gold glitter to my inner corner just to make it pop a little bit more. Now lastly, I'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite mascara. And this is the end result of your eyeshadow. Hope you guys liked this video. I had so much fun filming it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to follow all my social media that's down in the description box. And also, to, know, to get notified when um, I post videos, make sure to turn on the post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.